A report into last summer's rioting in the West Midlands and across the UK says a lack of support and opportunity for young people was one of the reasons for them starting. The riots communities and victims panel also cited poor parenting, too much emphasis on materialism and a lack of confidence in the police. In the Midlands, there were 770 arrests, but 305 were actually charged in connection with the riots. The whole incident cost West Midlands Police more than £12 million. Joanne Rittle has been gathering reaction from some of the people caught up in last year's uh, August problems. Rioting raged for three nights last August in Birmingham, West Bromwich, Cape Hill and Wolverhampton. These the scenes at a coffee shop and store in Birmingham, ransacked and left with £15,000 in damage. The owner later received royal visitors. Today he was outspoken about the report from the riots, communities and victims panel in its comments about poor parenting and issues facing young people. There's not even one line mentioned about the families of the people, those who have been affected in the rights, those who have been, the, whose shops have been looted. What, what, what is the constituency plan, what government is planning to do for them? They do have families. Brothers Shahzad Ali and Abdul Musavir and Haroon Jahan were hit by a car in Winston Green. A floral shrine quickly built up. Eight people have denied murder and go on trial next month. Seven months on, it's business as usual here. The flowers may have long gone, but memories remain. This man is a mechanic close by, and this is his view on the report comments on youth. I still say it's up to the appearance first. They have more responsibility for their kids than anybody else before the... Uh, um, government step in. The independent report's due out tomorrow. Recommendations are wide-ranging, including more help to get young people into work, a point pertinent to the West Midlands, where one in five youngsters is unemployed. Joanne Rittle, BBC Midlands Today. And there'll be more reaction to the riot panel report here on BBC Midlands Today tomorrow when we hear from local MPs. Two men.